So Barcelona members have voted on a 1.5 billion euro project that will help renovate their Camp Nou stadium, among other infrastructure. But I thought they were broke, right? Well, that is the case, and the club currently sit about debts of over 1 billion euros. And this comes even after the departure of superstar Lionel Messi, who left during the summer in almost unthinkable circumstances beforehand. But this only marked the start of a clear out, and Antonio Griezmann later in the summer actually left Barcelona as well, in a move that Barcelona officials believe has saved them over 600,000 euros per week as the season progresses. Yet now, in December of the very same year, Barcelona officials and members have supported going further into debt in a project that aims to renovate their future. And it could actually prove to be the saving of Football Club Barcelona. But before we dig into the details of the actual plan, it's important to know a number of key figures in this scenario, with the first being Juan Laporta. Now Laporta is currently the president of FC Barcelona and was elected by club members in March 2021. They do things a little differently at the club, with club members having the ability to elect whoever runs their club in an election. This is done in the same way as any other elections, with candidates presenting their manifestos of how they would bring the club forward in the future. But an election also means a mandate, and Laporta has promised to use this to stabilise the club's finances in the 18 months after being sworn in. And this is where the revival of the Spy Barca project, which had already been started, really comes into play. According to Laporta, the club needs a major project to renovate itself to keep up with the standards needed to compete with other European elite clubs. Most notably, the plan will see the renovation of Barca's Camp Nou Stadium, which will be completely revamped with a new roof covering it for the first time in its entire history, a new VIP section to obviously generate more money in that sense, and also the increased capacity which is expected to be around 105,000 seats. Now this is a major improvement on the current situation of the ground and you know many people have touched upon how this open bowl system that you see in Spain has kind of run its course in history. I think I, I read somewhere quite recently that fans of Barcelona were getting quite frustrated with the fact that when it rains, quite simply because it's an open air bowl, that they're getting soaked and they're getting you know dripped on by water coming down from a stand above them and this isn't really how they expect to watch a game of football in 2021 and going further into the 21st century and alongside this renovation of the stadium the camp nou will also be renamed and this is something the club officials will hope will almost be a, an opportunity too good to throw away for many major brands across the world. You have to admit that even though Barcelona are in crisis at the moment, if you are one of those big brands, the chance to rename the, such an iconic stadium could be quite beneficial for you in the long run. And it's revenue from this that is one example of how Barca officials expect this project to pay for itself in the long run and actually help generate profit for the club. It is reported that Barcelona are in negotiation with a number of brands in regards to this. So we could know what the Camp Nou will be called in the future very soon. Now to pay for the project itself, the club expected on 1.5 billion euro from Goldman Sachs. This is an amount that they expect to pay back in around 35 years. Again, to put that into context, the club are currently over 1 billion euro in debt. So this loan would double the amount of money that they currently owe. But club officials have actually released a step-by-step -step guide of how they will spend this money. So let's have a look. So as we can see, 900 million euros will be spent on what the club call the future new camp. 420 million will be spent on a new Palo Balograna. For those who don't already know, this is the club's multi-sport centre that is located just beside the new camp. It's where the club's basketball, futsal and handball teams play, among others. A further 100 million will be spent on urbanisation and campus developments, offices, etc. Basically, 60 million will be spent on MPGM investments, and 20 million will be spent on the Johan Cruyff Stadium, which is home to the club's female team and men's B team. But it's quite new itself, having only been built in the last few years. So there have been a lot of doubts around the project. Of course, not from Barca members because they voted this through. Because on the surface, it does sound quite risky. I'm no businessman and I'm not going to sit here and proclaim that I've got a master's degree in finance. But 
I've always come from the background of if you don't have the money, you can't spend it. Especially when you owe 1 billion euros. And one argument that's kind of been mooted is that if you've spent all this money and you're given all, essentially all the money you have will be going on this new stadium and this new project. And in five years time, if you spend five years, 10 years, not being able to pay the elite players what they want, well, at what point are you gonna be at? At what competition are you gonna be in? And if you're only at an average level of players, and you aren't in these major competitions and you aren't fighting for the league title well how on earth are you going to get 105,000 people in the stadium especially all that money you spent on VIP seats how are you going to get those people in if they're watching a mediocre 6th and 7th place fight from knowing Spanish football that is not what the Barca fans will expect and another point that I actually find quite interesting personally was that if you look through this dossier that they've released on how the money will be spent well they've quoted a number of clubs quite a lot actually who have upgraded their stadium or who have put in state-of-the-art facilities and one of the clubs that they've mentioned is Sunderland no disrespect to Sunderland fans whatsoever and this is coming from a fan of another league one club in England but if I was trying to pitch an idea about how to improve Barca's future one of the most illustrious clubs of all time well I don't really think I'd be quoting a team in England's third division who have been relegated consistently since they actually built this stadium so after all this it still does sound quite like a risk, but as noted beforehand, it is important to note that club officials do think that the plans will pay for themselves and in return actually create profit for the club. So they're viewing this in a very long term fashion and their estimated season on season figures for revenue stands at around 160 million euro, which of course times that by 10, times that by 20, times that by 30 to 35 years when they say they're gonna pay back the money then it could be a profitable project and one that may seem like a risk now but in 30 years time we might look back at it as having saved Barcelona as a football club. So what do you think? Do you think this will be the saviour of Barcelona? Do you think it could create more chaos? Let me know in the comment section below. You know I want to create a discussion about Spanish football and English. This is something that I really hope this channel can develop into. So let me know below. Let's have a discussion and once again thanks for watching the video. Gracias y nos vemos.